Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's get started with the coding for Snake. So once you have signed in to Scratch using our class account, go to My Stuff and you will be able to see that I've created templates of the Snake project for you with your name on it. Okay, so please find your name and your project. Click on See Inside to edit the code. Okay, so I'm going to show you with mine for an example. Alright, today for your snake template, what you should get are a few sprites. You will have a head sprite of the snake, body of the snake sprite, mouse sprite, beetle sprite, and I will give you a stage backdrop of a sandy place. Okay, it's like a desert. Alright, so everyone, let's get started with the backdrop first. We're going to click on stage. Let's add some music to our game. And I'm going to add a variable called length. So first, I'm going to go to variables since we're on the code tab. Make a variable, call it length. So this is what we're going to control in today's game. We're going to control the length of the snake. Going to make it longer or shorter. Okay? Now once done, let's go to the sounds tab. We're going to choose a sound for your game. So if you want, you can go to the group loops and you can choose any music that you like. Or you can follow me and choose this music, Dancita. Dancita. Okay, once done, once you have added the sound, go to your code. Let's code for it. So when the green flag is clicked, when our game starts, we are going to forever play the sound, Dancita and Tuta. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, great. Now let's move on to our snake sprite. We're going to start with the head. Okay, now I'm going to set a small size for it and I'm going to start it pointing upwards. Okay, so this is the code that I'm going to set for today. When green flag is clicked, we are going to set a small size first. So we're going to set the snake size of the head to about 8%. It's going to be a small snake. And we're going to make it start at somewhere near the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to use a motion. Go to block. Go to x50, y about minus 100. So that would start the snake around this position here. And then what's happened is I'm going to point it upwards. Point in direction 0, so this is pointing upwards. Okay, and then forever, I'm going to make the snake move. Okay, it's going to move forever. So go to motion, bring out the move block. Okay, so everyone, this is how it should work. When you launch the game, the snake should auto start here and move up. Okay, great, now it works. We're going to add the control, arrow key control to control the direction change for movement. So to do this, let me pause the game first. I'm going to bring out a few event blocks for different controls. Event, when key press. Okay, now let's do for up first. When my up arrow is pressed, I'm going to change the direction of the stage, the snake. So I'm going to point its direction upwards to zero. Okay, I'm going to copy this code for down, left, and right as well. So right-click, duplicate. When down arrow press, point in direction downwards, 180. Duplicate. When right arrow is pressed, point in direction to the right. That will be 90, 90 degrees. And finally, let's duplicate one last one for left arrow. So pointing to the left will be opposite of the right. So you can just add a minus 90 here or you can drag your arrow to the right side, the left side. Okay, so let's test out the movement here. So you can use your arrow key to change the direction. The snake should move accordingly. Okay, great, it works. Now, let's continue this code. We're going to add some special commands okay and we're going to do that for the body sprite now we're going to make the body of the snake also move accordingly so click onto your body sprite when green flag is clicked we are going to 
set the length of the body to zero okay and then we are going to make sure the body also points upwards point in direction zero pointing up following the body okay and we're going to set it to a small size as well let's do about 10 percent and we're going to switch its costume today you notice that your body snake sprite has two costumes one with a blue stripe and one without the blue stripe okay we're going to start the costume with the orange body first without the blue stripe so this will be body costume two so let's go back to code we're going to bring out this block switch costume to body costume two and then forever we are going to make the movement control so forever our body sprite will always follow behind the head so we're going to go to motion bring out this block go to the head okay so this will make your body always follow the head of your snake okay and today we're going to make the body grow longer we're going to use clones for that so i'm going to bring out my create clone block create clone of myself means create clone of the body okay now once done let's add in our movement controls okay i'm going to do conditions for this if and then okay instead of the events okay when if i am sensing a key up arrow press then i'm going to point upwards so let's bring out our point direction block point it to zero upwards okay i'm going to duplicate this code three more times for down right and left down arrow press point downwards duplicate again right arrow press point to the right which is 90 and finally if key left arrow press pointing to the left that will be a minus 90 opposite of right okay now once done we're going to pop in all these conditions into your forever block just after the go to okay so i'm going to just drag it pop it into the forever block under the go to head block okay so once done i am going to move on to add another code so this is going to be a special code we're going to make a lot of body clones behind the snake but we're going to make sure that it is controlled based on our length so this is what i'm going to do when i start as a clone let's go to control when my body starts as a clone i am going to wait a certain timing okay wait about 0.1 second just a short while will do we're going to switch the costume of the cologne to go to the first costume the one with the stripe so this is costume one switch costume to costume one and we're going to wait by a timing depending on the length so i'm going to add in a formula for this i'm going to use this fourth block with a dash this means divide something divide by something okay we're going to add our variable length inside wait length divide by five seconds and then we are going to add a delete block okay so i'm going to explain this part so what happens here is our body will keep creating clones right and each of the clones will always switch to the striped costume okay and it will wait by a certain time depending on how long the snake is okay so once we have finished waiting we're going to delete the clone so this means our body clones will wait and then disappear and this disappearing effect creates a illusion of a moving snake okay and of course your waiting time depends on the length so that's why we added a formula here okay now we're not going to test this out yet we're going to continue on to code for our mouse and beetle sprite so they are the food sprites so when the snake touches them you should change your length okay so let's go to mouse first for the mouse sprite when the green flag is clicked we're going to give it a small size as well so set size to about 15 percent forever if it touches our snake 
So if it touches the head of the snake, oops, head of the snake, then we're going to change the length of the snake by one. And of course, once done, we're going to make the mouse go to another random position. Okay, so this will move the mouse around the screen. We're going to do the same code for your beetle, but we're going to make the beetle appear later. So for the beetle, when you click on your beetle sprite, when green flag is clicked, we are first going to hide the beetle. We're going to make the beetle start later. Hide. Set a small size. For beetle, let's do about 20%. Okay, and then forever, we are going to wait a sh short while. So we're going to wait about maybe 10 seconds. Oops. We, after that, we're going to go to a random position. So your beetle will always keep changing position before it finally shows itself. Okay, now... Now let's add the touching code. When green flag is clicked, forever, if our beetle senses that it is touching the head of the snake, okay, what's going to happen is we are going to hide it and we're going to give more points. So we're going to give the snake a longer length change. So we're going to change the length by 3 instead. Okay, give it more points. Alright, now everyone, once done, we're going to add our game over code to end the game. So what happens in this game is that if your head of the snake touches its body, then we're going to make game over. So let's go back to the head sprite, click on the head. I'm going to zoom out and find an empty space to do this. So I'm going to add one last code for touching body. So when green flag click, Forever, if the snake head is touching its body, okay, but what kind of body part we're going to touch is the blue stripe. So instead of this block, I'm going to use the touching color. If touching the blue color, so click the color block, use the eyedropper tool, okay, drag your mouse over to the blue stripe, click, okay, that will help you to get the color. If touching this blue stripe, then we are going to say ouch. Okay, we're going to say a message ouch for about two seconds. And finally, we're going to stop the game by using a control stop all clock. All right, so let's test the whole game now. Now the whole game is ready. Press your green flag and let's play. So every time you catch a mouse or Notice that the length of the snake increases and the body also flows itself and increases. Oops, and if you touch yourself, what happens is game over. The game will freeze and you will have to restart again. Okay, so everyone, this is the end of the project. Well done if you have reached this stage. When you're finished, click on File, Save Now. Okay, to save a project to your game. Unscratch, make sure you see the word Project Save before you do your sign up, okay? For those of you with a problem, you see a message that says file cannot save, don't worry, finish the whole project coding first and then do a file save to your computer. So this will save the project to your computer. Once done, you will need to go to eCampus to upload this downloaded file to eCampus, okay? Instructions will be there on the page itself. So everyone have fun today. If you need help, just go to eCampus, click onto the conference help button and I will be there to talk to you. Okay, so have fun today. All the best. See you next week. Bye.